Hi there, everyone. Thanks for joining us for this latest video on Innovate TV. I'm joined today by Ben Spurgeon from Audio Logic. Welcome, Ben. Good to see you as always. Thanks, Ben. Um, today, we are going to talk about POE speakers. Are they here to stay? Um, so, first question, Ben. Um, how have POE kind of network speakers really developed over the last five years or so, would you say? I mean, as its own right within the industry, it's something that's grown so, so significantly over the last few years. I mean, whether it's the options of loudspeakers available or the brands that are actually adopting their own POE speakers into their line, it's something that we've seen huge growth of over the last few years. I mean, there's new formats coming out. We've got everything from ceiling speakers, pendant speakers, soundbars, all the way up to sort of professional studio monitor type speakers with like Genlex Smart IP. We're just seeing that there's massive, masses of options becoming available, which is great for us because it allows us to specify them pretty much anywhere. And um, for those that don't know, could you just give a kind of brief explanation of kind of how they work really, please? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so they work in a really, really similar way to active loudspeakers that run off typical 13 amp power. Um, but instead of running off mains power, we're actually using the power off of a network switch here. So the speakers still have an amplifier built inside, but they're using a PoE module to draw power and therefore power the loudspeaker. Because these are on the network already, it means that we can utilize audio over IP standards like Dante, AES67, QLAN. So we're putting everything down a single cable, single cat cable. Uh, and it means, yeah, we get pretty much the same, a lot of the benefits of an active loudspeaker, but without the worry of distributing active mains all over the building. Sure. I know um, system integrators of old have always liked um, cables and wires <laughs> and things fixed to walls. Um, this is kind of um, slightly different to that. Um, I just wondered if there are any kind of limitations um, as, as part of that kind of using um, the internet for power kind of thing. Yeah, so I mean, there's definitely a slightly different way to thinking to traditional. Obviously, we used to low impedance, high impedance speaker lines where we're running long, long distance of uh, traditional speaker cable. There's a slight way, different way of thinking with your design philosophies. Obviously, we're now running cat cables everywhere. And instead of masses of amplifiers in the racks, we're just using network switches that are providing the power. Um, in terms of limitations, people think that when we're dealing with POE, we might be limiting the, the outputs of the loudspeaker because we're dealing with low amounts of power. But when we're looking at standard POE, we're looking at up to 15 watts. And with POE plus, that's up to 30 watts. So it's still a good amount of power to be playing with. And the actual SPI we're getting out of these speakers is pretty crazy because they're so efficient. I mean, on some of the models we've got, we're achieving over 100 dB SPL at one meter. So it's, it's fairly impressive. Obviously, we're not at the stage of uh, powering full large format line arrays or anything like that. But we haven't even really tapped into POE plus plus yet, which is 99 watts. But I'm sure that's come a little bit further down the road. So there's fantastic potential there, you, you, you feel, for, for product development. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing so many brands take them on board already. Uh, the ranges and the options are, are expanding massively. But yeah, I think, especially from an integration, an AV integration side and commercial and residential and hospitality sectors, it just makes so much sense. Suddenly you're using the same cabling infrastructure as most of the other services on sites. So we're running one cable type everywhere single to cable type deployment is just yeah it's a hard argument to, to battle these days yeah i mean that leads on to my next question nicely really. there'll be system integrators watching this maybe who want to employ this technology maybe have to maybe convince maybe not the right word but um cajole maybe clients um <laughs> into this type of technology what would yeah. you kind of give to them as a simplified message in terms of the benefits of poe speakers really I mean, from an integration perspective, definitely the key message of, is ease of deployment, single cable per speakers, power controlled audio. That's that's the easy winner. Obviously, that's going to save you time and money on installation. Um, but for the end user, obviously, there's benefits of real time monitoring. So because these are network speakers, you can see every single device like any other IT device that's on the network. You can see them, get real time feedback from them, statuses and readouts and everything like that. Energy efficiency, obviously we're powering everything off of a network switch so we can shut down ports at the end of the day and monitor much more accurately sort of the audio that we're using. Like with Genlex Smart IP, we've got speakers that turn off after a little while if they're not receiving any audio signals, so we can be more efficient like that. And at the end of the day, we're not really impacting the sound quality of these speakers. We're using a lot of the same components that we are elsewhere, so there's no real drawback to this. Yeah, huge, huge list of benefits there. And um, just finally, how, how do you see the the market adoption of this technology and um where do you see it going in the future i mean early adopters obviously the it industry were were straight on board with this they didn't have to learn about a new technology and what high impedance and low impedance speaker lines means or anything like that 
But even the traditional AV integrators now are coming along to this because it's the cost of these speakers is coming down. I mean, because we're seeing more competition on the market and more formats available, naturally, we're going to see a decrease in price over time. So I think accessibility will get much less. As always, the ongoing topic of convergence between AV and IT, that's not going to go away anywhere soon. So realistically, to bring speakers onto the network as well makes a lot of sense. We're doing it with microphones and everything like that. Take QSC, for example, the, the nano processor, which is a networked only based DSP, adding everything onto that sort of networked path just makes a lot of sense. So it really, really is a progression path. I think moving forward, really, it's just the growth industry now. It's a really exciting thing to be on board with, but the, the real-time monitoring and all the other benefits, is just a quite a logical choice these days over the sort of, sort of traditional loudspeakers, if you will. Yeah, I mean, it just sounds like a natural evolution of, like you said, where we've been going. Um, with the whole kind of AV over IT piece. Um, ben, love to talk to you. Many thanks for your time. As always, speak to you soon. And uh, Many thanks for joining us for this video. And um, be sure to check out some more on our website. That's all for now. Bye-bye.